What's going on guys? Welcome back to Brown Town. Today we are going to add some ballast to my tractor tires because uh hadn't posted a video just yet, but I cut a behemoth 31 inch stump cedar tree. I cut it probably 12 foot long and it was quite heavy for the old tractor with no ballast in the tire. So today I have watched a ton of different videos, a ton of different ways to do it. So basically I'm gonna take all those videos, cram them down into one to show you the proper what I think is way to do this. I'm gonna be using a water hose to fill mine up. I see a lot of people using pumps and things of that nature, but I have no need to, I'm in Louisiana. I don't need to pump in antifreeze. It's not gonna freeze here. I may end up putting in some antifreeze or windshield washer fluid just for corrosion purposes, but as far as freezing, I'm not gonna have that issue here. So I ordered a little kit off of Amazon. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Ain't much to it, just a piece that fits the water hose, and mine will be the big hole for mine. It's got valve stems that's ready for that, and then you have a couple other small fittings, but you can get them in several different places. Uh, I just got mine from Amazon because I heart Amazon, so uh, I got it jacked up. I'm going to pull this off now, and it's going to start letting air out of it. You don't want to let all the air out because I've seen people that have issues with the bead breaking. I don't think I'm gonna have that issue since I have mine jacked up, but I'm not taking that chance. So I'm gonna start letting air out of it. That sounds like it has way too much air in it. That's all it is to it. Put your fitting on there and start filling her up. You can hear it going in there. Uh, what you want to do is kind of listen to it. You can hear when it going, when it slows down. You need to cut your water off. There's an air bleed on that valve just to bleed the air off. When air bleeds off to a decent pressure, uh, Turn the water back on, and when you get to where you're bleeding fluid out of the top, you're full. Put your valve core back in and air it up. I like to run about 10 in mine. That way you have still a little bit of cushion and good traction, and you gotta worry about losing your rim. Or you speed on your rim, I got a little drip leak. There we go. I'm gonna let that thing do its thing. That did not take long at all. Look, I'm already spraying water. I don't know if it's because I have more water pressure here than most people. I bled the air off once, came to bleed it off again, and she goes skate, skate. So you don't need all those pumps and crazy stuff I've seen getting different pieces of tubing and piping up some crazy stuff and getting a bucket. If you need to put antifreeze in them, I've got a hundred foot water hose. Pour your antifreeze in the water hose first. Hook your water hose up, pump it in, the antifreeze is going to go in. It's that simple. There's no sense in buying crap you don't need. Just, if you need to put antifreeze in first, mix it, put it in your water hose, pump it on in. Now comes the part where I'm going to get really, really moist because I have to put my valve core back in. So, you want to hang around and watch this? Figured so. It ain't funny. It ain't, it ain't funny. So yeah, there you go. I'd say she's full. 
now I'm gonna check to see how much pressure's in it, and I'm gonna back her back down to about 10 psi or so, like I said. So, that's all it is to it. Don't go buy a bunch of shit you don't need. Just water hose. I think that fitting with like 10 bucks off Amazon, and I'm sure you can get them anywhere else. Like I said, if you need to put antifreeze or windshield washer fluid or whatever, pour it in your water hose. Don't go buy and waste money on a pump that you use one time and then have no use for it. See y'all next time.